Since its inception, movers of the Global Week of Action Against Gun Violence have been trading on higher frontiers with growing optimism of eradicating gun violence globally. Now, stakeholders are proposing the need for an international arms law to control arms trade. One of the things that we are fighting to establish is to have an arms trade treaty which is going to regulate the arms transfer and the arms dynamic within the global community. We have got all sorts of treaties and laws on various things, including laws on biological, chemical, and nuclear weapons, but we have no law particularly to control arms. In Uganda, lead advocates on small arms suggest the need to register and license all firearms for easy tracking, all in case of misuse. We have the program of stockpile management. This program of stockpile management seeks to ensure that firearms that are in legal possession are maintained so and they are not abused. Internal Affairs Minister Engineer Hilary Neck wants public to break the cycle of violence by disposing of all small arms in their possession to government. I must say, for example, the case of Karamoja. There are a lot of legal hands, arms in Karamoja. But would wish that the Karamojong actually surrenders all these arms. And then, as government, we can legally license, gun, give them guns and license for their self-defense so that government has proper record and know who is holding the guns and then we know what ammunition the person is holding so that it will be easy for us to trace the perpetrators of violence. This year's Global Week of Action Against Gun Violence running from the 18th to the 24th of June is targeted towards creating awareness on the human cost of gun violence and increase in small arms. Rallies, media work, publication launches and visiting victims are some of the activities scheduled during the commemoration of the week. Globally, 1,000 people are killed every day by guns. Moses Walgembe, UBC News, Kampala.